recording now? It's recording now. Let's oh. get the show in the direct. No, no, it's it's not recording. Oh, let's go. Okay. <laughs> you know the uh, that word it says right next to Tyler's name. No, R E C O R D I N G. You like yes. gave it yeah, like a that name. Mean it's like, recording. This is recording one of like and then. Okay, let's start. No. As the host today, <sighs> I control the ultimate power, and I decide when we start. Okay, I mean, so TJ, when do we start? And we are not starting until 52 minutes into the podcast. Fantastic. Sounds That's like a fine. fun recording. Won't have yeah. to do anything. Yeah. Okay, let's start. Yay! Uh, trace, dos, uno... Podcast. My name is Luis, aka Spartan Sloth, and today we have Matt, aka what? Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm Tyler. Oh, I'm Matt. I guess I kind of threw you off your steez there. I'm sorry about that. I'm needing pretzels. That's See, professional. I mean, dude, come on! You've been on the podcast for a minute, and you're eating. <laughs> Um, did I get too comfortable? I don't well, think that's... anyone should be comfortable around TJ and me when there are no, uh, no Spartan sloths to look after us. Yeah, the, there are no adults in this room. Or, or no gyms. Jim, see, we, we act mature around Jim. Uh, uh, today, really? today we're unfiltered because TJ is hosting and whatever yeah, happens, also... happens. Also, we're unfiltered because I have, I have absolutely no idea what we're going to talk about, so I'm just going to replace all of my uh, thoughts with profane, profanity. It's like a good podcast would, you know? <laughs> it's a fucking good podcast. Oh, oh I can feel those ratings. No, all those oh dislikes. <laughs> <laughs> good. Let the hate flow through you. Do it. Do it. Power. Okay, good uh, podcast. Let's go home. Yeah, everyone, that was the uh, Shifty Keys podcast 106. Uh, join us next week when we release Private Cast number two and fix whatever happened this podcast. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I guess I have a topic. Um, yeah. Tea or coffee? Neither. Neither. You guys are the worst. I mean, <laughs> really. <laughs> Neither. Uh, I guess I'm indifferent, really. No, right, no, no. Right. I'm, I am most certainly not indifferent. Neither, because they both taste like ass. Yeah. Sorry, <sighs> sorry. That That's a bit of an exaggeration. They don't taste like ass. They just taste like hot water. And There's something wrong with your good. coffee. Coffee is hot, bitter water. Tea is slightly less bitter, hot water. We threw the tea into the harbor. It's all soggy now. Tea doesn't get soggy. Tea gets good. It does. <laughs> oh, that being said, if it's been left in the harbor for that long, it would probably be moldy and lukewarm and disgusting by now and disease-filled. And yeah, maybe maybe you're right. Maybe it wouldn't be good. Yeah, the C is now entirely where we get the T from. It's called C T. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that sounds like a health drink, like kale mm-hmm. and kelp. I'm I'm thinking about just completely leaving this podcast and uh, making <laughs> a product called C T. <laughs> Where'd That's, you get that idea? No, no one will ever know. You know, it's not like it's actually recorded somewhere. <laughs> you know, just Although to be fair, you are the one with the recording. Yeah, I, I'm Delete like the, the only person that can defend it. <laughs> oh. Nah, I couldn't do that to you. Uh, could you imagine how uh, guilty I would feel rolling in piles of money? <laughs> <laughs> so Tyler, you drink tea as opposed to coffee? I drink coffee more, but I can drink both. Because unlike the stereotype, uh, not all British people just solely drink uh, tea. So, what are the advantages of tea in your mind? I, can we, can we not 
talk about the advantages of tea, please. And, uh, I was about to say, like, the I, advantages <laughs> in what way? Like, the economy? Like, mm. like <laughs> this is the way really I see it, bad. People drink coffee for the caffeine and the energy. You know, they don't. Yeah. I don't think any people drink it because they like it. They drink it like because it. they're they're addicted to large amounts of caffeine. Caffeine. <laughs> Co- coffee. It's what you call caffeine in coffee. That's another good product you could sell now. <laughs> coffee. Also a Pokemon, but you know. Coffee. Oh yeah, that's something we could talk about. Pokemans. It's it's Matt Day today. Look. You you invented that. It doesn't count. <laughs> no, it's it's Matt Day today. Well, it won't be by the time this gets released. Because it's Matt Day at the time we're recording, dated and everything. <laughs> oh. So please enlighten us. What is Matt Day? Matt Day is a day all for me because I am Matt and today is Matt Day. That seems a little narcissistic. <laughs> well, I actually have to share my birthday, so... I decided just to move it six months, and now it's my own birthday. Matt Day. Wait, so, does so that is mean it your you birthday? Age? <laughs> do, do you age twice as fast? <laughs> um, okay, so I'm a twin, so I share my birthday with my twin. So I'm celebrating, kind of celebrating, my birthday today. Huh. Okay. So your okay. brother celebrates his birthday uh, on your birthday, but then you celebrate your birthday separately. Can't you celebrate I mean, it together as a people? I kind of do. Yeah. It's so very then, confusing. It's so then very confusing. Y- your brother just has his birthday, but you get two days. Correct. Uh, see, that seems that seems unfair. I think I'm going to have to call uh, the law enforcement, and I don't know My what they would do. My dad is law enforcement. I'm going to ring your dad and say, look, yeah, there's this breach of... Um, Protocol. Fairness. In the no, States. no, 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 no. He thinks it's stupid. See, he, see, he knows. Wait, your dad or your brother? My dad. Well, I mean... My brother is supportive. Your bro- your brother is support. Uh, so is there a uh, day for your brother too? No, he's got our birthday. But so do you. <sighs> this is good. Uh, okay, can we move on? Oh, we can move on. That's fine. You brought it up. I did you brought bring it up. up. Uh, I didn't realize there'd be so many questions. I'm being interrogated here. That's because we're generally <laughs> inquisitive about what this made up day is. Matt, you got to understand, we're the day. worst people for questioning. Like, we will sit there for an entire podcast and be like, hmm, why don't you like anime, Luis? Hmm? <laughs> you know, huh? that would be the whole podcast. Huh? Uh, I mean, we could always move on to something less awkward and less Matt-related, but I yeah. always kind of wanted Please. to talk about this after the aftermath. Um... No. The aftermath of what? <laughs> oh, no. oh dear. I'm opening up a deep, dark, blueish, greenish shade of story no. here that many oh, people with a follow the shifty Stop. keys may not know about. <laughs> I mean, We're if you want about. to. Okay. Many, many, many moons ago, when I was the editor for the latecomers. Um. Um, Gold Guy had a controversial moment. What was that about again? It was about my favorite color. Yes. And how long did people not shut the fuck up about this bloody color after you started talking about it? (laughs) That was the podcast. And the weeks afterwards, too. (sighs) Uh, What color Uh, is it? Cyan. Uh, So... Uh, not blue if (laughs) if you think it's blue you're wrong don't be dumb cyan (laughs) is its own color Uh, what i all i remember positive i I, very positive all i all i remember about this particular incident to give people that may not be in the know for an incident that happened possibly three years ago um is but simply the fact that 
your entire uh, thing with this that drove people insane for weeks, because I didn't stop hearing about it on TeamSpeak, um, could have been easily resolved. So easily Ow. resolved. Ow. Because you kept on saying, it's not a shade of blue. It's not. If, yeah, yeah. I agree with you. But if you had said to the people that were on the podcast right then and there that a shade consists of lighting or darkening, well, actually more darkening a, a colour, yeah. if you had turned around and said, because cyan is as bright as it can be, it's a mix between green and blue directly, then we wouldn't yeah. have had the issue that we did and I didn't have to sit down and research colour theory for like <laughs> Tyler, two or three hours. <laughs> Tyler, Tyler, Tyler. Yeah. You, what, how did I get on that podcast? Look, if I remember very, very, very long times ago, like with the latecomers, I remember accidentally inviting some people. It may have not have been me. It may have been someone else. I got... I was like two seconds before the podcast started. It's like, do you want to be on the podcast? Sure, I'll be on the podcast. They'll be fine. Nothing can go wrong. It was two years ago. I wasn't even ready that day. I could barely formulate a thought. Oh, boy, have times changed. Sounds kind of like today. Yeah, it is exactly like today. Thoughts are hard. So, so what color are we going to bring into controversy today? Magenta? Um, purple. Yeah, purple needs it, man. Purple's wait, getting a bit wait, too wait, high for us. Pur- What's the difference between magenta and purple? Does, I mean, does magenta dark, have more red in purple it? Purple is dark magenta, isn't it? I'm not quite sure. <laughs> and so it begins. <laughs> I, I'm asking. Really? Yeah, like, like, isn't purple, like, the perfect middle ground between red and blue, but then magenta has a little bit more red in it? Magenta is just Who a lighter knows? shade of it. Look, the, the way to stop... will never be solved. Yeah, the way to stop this from getting out of hand is just everyone just look on Google. We don't uh, know. Because we've seen how these things can blow out of proportion beforehand, you know? Like, we've seen it happen, <laughs> haven't we, Matt? <laughs> Too lazy. I'm tired. I fought a bloody battle with cyan blood in it. That's all I could think about. Did you also know that cyan is the inverse colour of red? Hmm. The more you know. Rainbow! <laughs> Sorry. I guess TJ's right. He just... <laughs> yeah. TJ just sent to us, I'm right, fuck you. <laughs> Thanks, TJ. With a link, as press proof. Uh, remember to send this link to uh, Luis, because ugh, I don't I don't make the link shader. I'll make a note thing for links. So, ooh. ooh. That is a fun little image that I'm hoping is in the link shader. <laughs> By the time this gets released. <laughs> hmm. Go, guy, you want to bring up a topic, don't you? I mean, I, I'm just going to take a shot in the dark and say we could probably talk about anime now. We could you hear probably that, talk about anime. I mean... Anime. You notice as well, Luis, who's probably listening into this, how the guest that's been on our podcast once wants to talk about anime. Oh, what dear. does this say? This I know says that. we need don't, more anime. Don't drag me into your argument. That means please. that like one out of every one first-time guest guests that we have I'm gonna like say to talk about small anime. Sample size. Hey, look, it's a Shut it's hundred percent proven. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just because I only got an 80 on my last stat stats doesn't mean you can talk to me like that. <laughs> oh my uh, god. <laughs> Look, if, the research I mean, is I, I dropped out of stats, so... Ouch. Wait, Golgar, yeah. are you in college? No, but stats was available for, like, seniors in high school, which I am. Oh. Well. Cool. <sighs> so, Aren't I, like, a year younger than you? Yeah. No, no, no. I'm in my sophomore. I'm at the end of my sophomore year of college. Hmm. And I'm the oldest here. I suddenly feel really sad. <laughs> yep. You should. Hey be. Tyler, you should go uh, pull out some mm. of your your gray hairs. Oh yeah, yeah, and uh, work on uh, sorting out my mortgage and pension 
you know, that, <laughs> that dodgy hip, you know. Set your affairs in order before your kids have to bury you. Yeah, yeah. God, I, I, I just had a, just a quick thought, like, yeah. with the, uh, un, <laughs> it's, it's a very low possibility for me, uh, well, no, I don't know why it's a low possibility. I just, I just don't see it happening in the foreseeable future. Because can you imagine me as a father? Um, <laughs> one of these days, people on this podcast are gonna have puppies, no. kids, and stuff. Probably not us, because you know, yeah, we're just. Uh, I, I, I'm Thanks talking for the from my confidence, Tyler. <laughs> no, well, definitely not me. I can do me. anything. <laughs> that's, that's all <laughs> I'm thinking. Um, can you imagine how awkward it would be if they discover like episodes and podcasts you're on, and you're discussing shit like Ebola and <laughs> you know, be like all those Ebola. fun things. Oh, you mean that thing everybody in the world is caught by now? Well, you know that thing that we discussed on the podcast, like it was a huge deal, like seventy podcasts ago. Uh, one of these Don't... days, relatives and ancestors might find this thing, and then we're boned. Don't worry, Tyler. My Eskimo kids will never find out. Mm. Mind you, it does, leave, it does leave a decent legacy. You know, you I could mean... be be buried and someone says, like, as you're dead and, you know, buried. It's like, his username was TDB Tyler. Go and find him on the internet. He's got <laughs> some really random shit out there. <laughs> I know, and they'll be trying to guess what TDB stands for. And the first thing they're going to think of is that douchebag, Tyler. <laughs> oh, it's got two different meanings now, so it's you're not wrong. <laughs> oh? Can well, I explain? It, well, it is that douchebag, Tyler, but it used to be the drop banana, Tyler, which just doesn't uh, remember. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense, because we haven't worked together on the drop banana for like... A year, two years, years three years, who knows? Long... <laughs> But I had a classmate that actually found my Reddit account. That was not a good day. I've had classmates that find that found my uh, my accounts several times now. Uh, Your YouTube I'd, account? Uh, well, I actually don't do too much on YouTube. But um, the old one. Oh, the old one. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that was weird. I know everything, <laughs> Tyler. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> Please provide a link so that way everyone can know. Wait, a link to Drop Banana episodes? No, the old YouTube account. Oh, that thing. Oh, no. You can delete that. Like, that's got nothing of importance on it. <laughs> uh-huh. the, the, the only thing... Okay, this is going to sound a bit made of... Made of blah, word. That's not the right word anyway. The audience is probably going to be a bit weirded out by this, but Matt does have my old alias in his history somewhere. I'd rather keep that secret because that's that's just an old alias that I don't use anymore. I just don't want it being linked to my real name and stuff like that because I think, you know, I was not internet savvy back then. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, eh. Sonny probably knows my real name and address and... Please, already on the way to. Haven't we said your real name on the podcast before? You have, you have, and And I wasn't the editor back then. (laughs) You said your full name and where you live. Indeed, you have. (laughs) Hmm. Do you know my full name? This is when you guys get a lot more views because people are going to be like, "What is his real name?" (laughs) Trying to find it. (laughs) I typed your real name for you. Oh, uh, by the way, uh, just like to let you know that Vic is stalking us. Um, what? Please explain. Um, yeah. See, I should not be the host to things like this because I, I can't keep a s- string of thoughts together. Well, I mean, well. technically, I'm the host, but TJ, I, control me. I started off by saying that I have no thoughts to share, so. This is kind of the podcast you guys get. Huh. You get what I you mean, pay for. Yeah. <laughs> audience. My, my brain is just pretty much fried after this week. <clears throat> it's probably going to be fried after next week, too. Uh, so how was your week? That's something you can talk about. 
Uh, took a calc test. That's about it. What? Calculus. Calc oh, one. oh, I thought you said something completely different. <laughs> I took a calc oh, test. What? Yeah. A cop no, I thought you said cock test as well. I was like, oh, um, no, cop test as in like a police officer. Oh, oh, I thought something rude. I mean, I don't know. I bet a cop test would have been easier. Yeah. So, yeah. any, okay. Wait, Tyler, please, please elaborate on how Vic is stalking us all. Yeah. Uh, she's she's using her boyfriend's account to chat to me at the moment. <laughs> what? Matt's like, well, what? And how? she doesn't want to talk to any of us. I see how it is. Tell her to oh, be man, here. I'm just that popular, aren't I? Nah, it, we need nah. people. We're dying here. I mean, she could talk to you guys, but I can imagine it's a bit awkward trying to do personal messages like to three people at the same time that are all on a podcast trying to focus and end up talking about well, the fact that there's a private conversation going on at the same time. Well, then why'd you bring it up? Because I just wanted to say that Vic was stalking us. <laughs> but and now we know. Say things like that. I don't know. Uh, well, that's, like, that's like saying the NSA is stalking you, when in reality there's nothing you can do about it. I mean, the NSA are stalking you. You know, because you're in America. They're probably listening in to you first. Me? You're the foreigner. No, yeah, you're the freaking... You're the enemy. The enemy? <laughs> <laughs> that that suddenly went from 0 to 60 pretty damn quick there. <laughs> what did I ever do to America? <laughs> American well, Revolution, part two. Also, there's this little thing called the War of 1812. Thanks. Yeah, he burned down the White House. Dick. Well, I mean... It was an accident. There was an incident no. with a match and uh, someone falling over. Calm and... down, you lobster back commie. <laughs> Look, it's not my fault that someone's just so happened to trip, blah, blah, trip over with some gasoline at the same time someone decided to trip with a lit match right next to the White House and create a massive problem. I don't know actually you what happened be, to the White you House at, at all. historically <laughs> accurate. It was probably kerosene. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, duh. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea where any of this is going. Look, okay, let's Tyler. just do what your strong suit is. Talk about anime. Tyler, anime. how do you feel about Angel Beats? Angel Beats was good. What do you like about it? Uh, you really? uh, Wait, TJ, do you not like it? Uh, that's a it, pretty bad uh. That's. I mean, it wasn't bad. It got better. As the show went on, and then it just kind of like smacked you in the face with a brick wall at the end. Like um, it's almost like they didn't know how to end it. I yeah. mean, it's like the setup for it wasn't that good. Like there was no good way to talk about people dying. I mean, they literally just started it off like, "Oh, we have to fight against this," and it's like, "Oh, nope, never mind. We just have to try and trick as many people into obliterating themselves as possible." But, uh, I'm actually gonna say, like, I do, I, I did enjoy the show, but actually thinking about it, it does have this. I don't know. I, I would call it emotional whiplash going on. You know, like, it tries to be a comedy one second, then it tries to be, uh, all shootery, actiony, and then it decides to be, yeah. you know, serious and sad. In some episodes, you don't know what yeah, that's, you're supposed to have. Yeah, that's completely true. Like, the whole episode with the, the weird pink-haired girl. That was a good uh, episode. Yeah. That's the definition of emotional whiplash. Like, oh, comedy, 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 and then, boom, out of fucking nowhere. You get the Yeah. yeah and then yeah. after that, I'm just like, what is this show? And can... can uh, I don't know if we've already delved into spoilers already, but can I just quickly bring up spoiler alert for the ending of it? Okay, yeah, go ahead, please. Uh, listeners, if you're uh, listening and you haven't watched Angel Beats and you're interested in watching Angel Beats, then... It's a good show. Take off your headphones for now. Or uh, mute us if you're not... Yeah. Uh, I don't. I still don't understand how the ending makes sense. Because 
isn't he supposed to be the organ donor to Angel, right? Like, I mean, they never explain it. Well, like, it's just on the timeline. It doesn't make sense. He died before sense. her. He died before, but she was already there. That's what I mean. Like when they're in the afterworld, I suppose. Like she's. It's been established that she's been there for a while. You know, like the longest, basically. Yeah. So she's in this afterworld thing. I mean, first. you could you could make the argument that you know time really doesn't matter. I, I guess that's the only way that that plot hole really makes sense. But they could have like added someone from like, like the past to just to prove that it's like, see, like this guy was here after. Like it's like I don't know. Pirate Except they probably didn't think that. of it. <laughs> probably. But it's like a major plot point. That's what's weird. I mean, it's not really that major a plot point. They literally just added it at like. The whole ending of the show, like, the last, like, episode or two was just so, like, I don't know. Like, it was, it just got, like, more and more, like, scatterbrained and harder yeah. to follow. Like, it's like, oh, we're sad, we're happy, we're fighting, we're running, we're, uh, you know, disappearing, you know? Um, and then, yeah. Oh, I was just going to say, like, it's definitely a show that you could just sit down and watch, and if you don't really think about it, you can thoroughly enjoy. But this, let's say if you actually give it, like, an analytical watch, and you're sitting there trying to focus in on everything that's going on, it's actually not too good. Like, when you actually think about it, like, hardly any of the characters get any development, because there's, like... <laughs> 15 characters and hardly that many episodes so it's like <laughs> woo this character doesn't really mean too much to me at all <laughs> you know but yeah. hey they get a bit of and i i think it was just like the whole thing like they set the show up to be or not the i i honestly just don't know what i think of that show it's just some parts were really good other parts were not so good, but as a whole, I wouldn't say the whole show is bad. I just wouldn't say it's good either. You know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. I mean, what's worse is if you think about it, that guy's still there. He's still in purgatory, helping people instead of like, you know, <laughs> passing on. People. He's probably just or sitting like, there crying like a bitch, and people keep showing up. It's like, what the fuck is wrong with this guy? They they added like a two minute epilogue. It's like it's just him. Like being the president of the school now. Really? I'm surprised yeah. he didn't become the next angel. Oh, I never you saw know. that. Everyone's he, he like did. avoiding him. Yeah, she was the angel. She was angel. Oh, yeah, angel. Or she was the president. Yeah. And that's basically yeah. his role. But did, like didn't they also show like a thing, like in another life or something, where they passed each other or something? Yeah, that's right at the end yeah. of the show. So he probably offed himself at some point or something. I don't know. Maybe, but uh, like we just have to guess that he did. Like they didn't show him actually passing on. Yeah, true. That's one of the things about that show. They don't. They just literally. It just like, you know, this guy lost all his memory, got all his memories back, had a shitty life, came to this, you know, other plane of existence, fell in love with a girl, and then everybody disappeared, and he's all by himself. Yeah. Fantastic. Yep. <laughs> yeah, when you think about it like that, it's not that good. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm not, my I'm, opinion not saying, I'm not saying every single show should be, you know, happy-go-lucky endings. I'm just saying a little bit of closure would be nice. And, yeah. like, they just left that so open-ended to interpretation. I, it does um, make me a little bit mad. I, I, I can't remember what I was watching to see this comment, but... I remember someone saying that Angel Beats was like one of the saddest shows that they've ever watched. And I sat there and went, it definitely has some really sad and dark moments in it. Like when you learn the history behind some of the characters, like yeah. that, that can get real dark and sad. But if they're talking about the end of the show, like that is pretty damn forced. I wouldn't say that it was sad. It just, to me, it made very little sense. So it lost all sadness quality straight away. I agree with you that I won't say it's not sad, but I will agree with you that it was definitely forced to be sad. 
Yeah. Like it's like you know how most shows they build something up and then they, you have a payoff for it. That yeah, show, yeah. it's like they built that up and then the payoff was him getting trapped in purgatory for the rest of all time. Yeah. It doesn't <sighs> feel good. But they're, they're, it's made by the same people who made like Clan Ad and Canon and Air and, and all that. I haven't personally watched those shows, but I've heard that it's a bit more fleshed out than Angel Weeds. You know? Yeah. Shows? Like, like Clan Ad and uh, Air and Canon 06. Yeah, I've, I've heard of Clan Ad, but I've never watched it. That one's apparently yeah. a tearjerker. Yeah, I've heard that, uh, I from heard that about Clan Ad After Story, not so much Clan Ad itself. I guess like they, I don't know, probably I guess both of them since they're same. Like, yeah, uh, true. That's really one of the reasons why I don't want to watch the show because <laughs> yeah. I, I've not had anything spoiled for me. I don't know what it's about. I really actually don't want to know anything about it yet. But like any time I hear anything about that show. Uh, clan ad everyone's just like oh it's really sad and i'm like that's not really getting I me mean, to yeah. watch it <laughs> let's be honest nothing can be sadder than the first 15 minutes of up i mean elf and lead yeah. got there <laughs> never watched that either i can't that's mm. on my plan to watch list as you know tyler oh yeah uh me and me and matt were online hours ago and we were just nerding over at each other's uh my anime list. <laughs> well, you guys both probably have me be. I doubt there's an anime I've watched that you guys haven't. Wait, maybe one. Have you? Have either of you guys seen The Seven Deadly Sins? Yes. It's on Netflix. I've been meaning to watch it. <laughs> it's really good. You should watch it. It's, it's um, pretty, yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, if you want to hear a really good anime, going to be The Twin Tail. I will go post you a Wikipedia link to what <laughs> Twin Tail? Is it a hentai? Want... Oh god. No. It's not a hentai. <laughs> TJ by... recommending stuff like First thing, Bible I see, Black on, first thing I'll see on the Wikipedia page. Made by the creators of Boku no Piku. <laughs> <laughs> you know, all this time we've been talking about Angel Bees, I've just had that stupid theme song in my head the entire time oh i will say uh i do i say what you want about angel beats i do like the music <laughs> great music like i mean really good it's it's pretty good i just i don't i don't know i like it but then i don't know i don't like it but it's pleasing to my ears i don't know how to mm. explain it. i think i think it's just it's not so much the music in part like i think it's a show my feelings towards the show imparting itself on that music. Like, my mixed feelings on the show, I just, like, automatically think of all those feelings when I hear the theme song. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, like, I think that might be it. Your opinion has been swayed. Sway, swayed, that's the word. <laughs> like, when I, I watch, speak well, English. when I watch an awesome show, even if it's a shitty theme song, you know, I'll, I'll just want to watch it more. Or I'll, you know, I'll remember all the good things from the show. Yeah. Sometimes my entire opinion of a show can just be solely based on how good the opening theme is before <laughs> really I've even can. watched it. <laughs> so like what, would, what would you consider the best opening theme? Uh, I don't think I can answer that question yeah. because it really depends. But I can give you an answer on like the best opening theme I've seen without seeing the show yet. Yeah. Which is Death Parade. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why. I really do like the opening, and I just haven't got round to watching it yet. So, the the show that I have linked is called "Gonna Be the Twin Tale." Have you guys read the plot yet? Oh damn! I was literally flicking through the characters because I swear, I swear, I've seen artwork of that main character before. I'm actually going to pay attention to the plot now. It's. I mean, I might as well read it. Uh, Ooh, tease it. Japanese name is an ordinary high school boy who has an obsession for twin tail hair. One day, he encounters a mysterious girl named Chuo. Chuo. 
in our name, can't say, from a parallel world when a monsters appear in his town who declare that all twin tails in the world belong to them. These monsters feed off the attribute power, the spiritual energy of humans. Twirl her leech and trust Soji with imaginary armor initiated by powerful twin tail attributes. When the armor Soji transforms into t tail red, a twin tail warrior to protect Earth. Really? It's a gender um, bender. Really? Yeah. That's the show that you decided to give us. It's I mean, really. TJ, TJ, we do have us reading Begata HK out there, so. I would rather watch. Be oh, that. I mean, it could just be me being biased, but the plot of that just sounds so stupid. It's very stupid. It's the best thing I've ever read and watched. <laughs> so it's stupid, and so it's not good. It's stupid. But no, do you it's like actually. It? It's like hard to explain why I uh, like uh, this. This show is amazing. I mean, it's not my favorite show because, but it's really freaking out there and weird. He, I don't even. It's twin tail. So twin tail hair, literally a rabbit, right? What? No, like like a pigtail. <sighs> Like, the main character has a fetish for pigtails. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> TJ's like... a mysterious girl named Two Arrow. Twarly. I... Tw tw two Arrowly. No, it's like they Monster. say, like, Two Arrowly. Two Arrowly. <laughs> I've seen the entirety of the show before. Wait. Twin Tails. So, all Twin Tails is in all girls with twin tail hair? Yes. The fuck? Can, wouldn't you just change your hairstyle? Yeah, like, like they have a love for twin tails, and therefore, if they 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 lose the ability to wear their hair as in the twin tail style if they are captured. Yeah, I I feel like we need to probably uh, see it to get the right context because it's one of those weird right. ones where I'm sure, but it, that I mean, might be explaining it 100. percent But we're just like, Durr? <laughs> I I know I've probably watched weirder shows. With um, you know, Welcome weirder. No, I've ne no. I'm I'm just <laughs> trying to think if there's any show like I've read the synopsis for and thought it was stupid, and then watched the show and not thought that, but I can't think of one. You got a HK. <laughs> Except that was actually pretty funny. See, yeah, but like if I, whenever it's someone not, reads it's not the like, plot, <laughs> it's not like like okay, this is a little less weird. Than what I thought, because I thought it was like a rabbit, like an actual hair. So it's a little <laughs> less weird, but it's still kind of weird. No, yeah, it's, it's, it's more weird. Though, but... Rabbits would have actually made more sense. Like, in a sense, is... yes, they would. Because, like, so what? Some girl wakes up and decides that, oh, I'm going to wear my hair. And, and then she decides, and then it's like, oh, I'm suddenly getting magic power through my hair. Like... Like, they have to, the item that gives them the ability to harness their love for twin tails. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Here. Sorry, I, I just had to mimic that. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like Danny's yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, but that's weird. Like it was, It's very weird. I'm going to be watching it later. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He's going to be masturbating to all the twin tails. Look, TJ, yeah? No. Okay? Don't go there. He, the he audience started does that not need this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, TJ, yeah? And that's the end of the sentence. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, speaking of all this anime stuff, uh, and the fact that you brought up rabbits, uh, did either of you see the ending of ruby yet and if you have don't tell me no, anything no i haven't no it's out right now I i've think. been meaning to yeah. catch up i'm i'm oh. caught up now like i caught up like a few days ago do you guys want me to link those like put those to the link thing oh yeah you can uh tj's referring to the my anime lists uh you can put mine up i'm yeah, not same. ashamed i mean <laughs> gonna be there, the twin tail there are some that i should probably be ashamed about on there but hey 
But yeah, uh, the Ru- bleh, Ruby finale is today for people that are sponsors. People so, are going crazy. So like, I'm trying to avoid Twitter and everything else that I'm finally getting into because I'm scared that some idiots is going to be like, oh, spoiler alert, and then capital letters exactly what happens. You know? Oh, yeah, I think I think I already got a major spoiler from a couple of weeks ago. Just don't tell I'm, me. I'm not going to say it, but I'm just going to say I think the last episode I watched in this season was like episode six, maybe? So I'm pretty far behind. Oh, yeah, maybe a spoiler for you because you're behind. Yeah, I'm about to say like you couldn't have seen the finale yet, surely. No, I haven't seen the finale. I mean, like I got spoiled from the last thing I saw was Ruby was like running backstage and uh, f- feet guy started fighting her or something. Huh, that's actually Mercury. not that far behind. Yeah, yeah, you're nearly there. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I do need to catch up, but I just freaking. I don't know. Continue. Frick frick. Continue with um, conversations. Okay, so Tyler, how have you put Steins Gate on hold? Look, yeah, do not judge me. Look, I yeah. am. This is, you put it out there. Look, yeah, unpopular yeah. opinion. <laughs> right now, it's below school days. Wait, Tyler, you what? still haven't seen Kill a Kill? Huh? At least planning to watch it. Oh, yeah, I'm planning to watch it. I haven't got my hands but- on it yet. Uh, how? It's, I mean, it's not that good, TJ. It Let's is be good. real. It's, it's not that amazing. good. Unpopular opinions time. <laughs> Tyler, really... you would like it just for the music. I know. I heard the music. Fine. Overrated, <laughs> all of it. Like I don't. Boom. Yeah. No. Yeah. Look, Let's be kill a kill is freaking amazing. Uh, just... It was all right. I'm just going to point out the Steinsgate thing, putting it on hold. Um, And I I believe some people out there may agree with me on this. Um, Maybe not, because, yeah. Um, I watched the first episode, and I was going through, at the time, the later part of, like, a very closely approaching deadline for uni work. So you can imagine, the first episode isn't really clear-cut, simple things to uh, watch, you know? Yeah, it's it's really slow, too. Yeah. Like I've heard that it gets good around episode 10, or something, like, it gets, like... No, yeah, it's, it's like, four... Really good. Yeah. But, it's really slow. But what I have to say to that was, that may be the case. But at the time, I do believe... I can't remember what I dropped it for. Oh, I think it was Toradora. That was something that I watched oh, straight. That, that yeah. makes sense. Yeah, like I, I was like, I could sit down and have my mind destroyed by this show that I'm not a hundred percent getting, or I can just watch Toradora and have a fun time. So I was just like, hmm. Uh, uh, and I heard people saying that Steins Gate is amazing, but I'm not sitting around for. 10 episodes while I, I just needed, you know, uh, uh, something with a happy mood. Yeah. Uh, I don't as, even think it was a happy mood, it was a colourful mood. Yeah. Oh, sorry. But as previously stated, I Madoka Magica is my like favourite anime. Oh, uh, yeah. We were discussing it a few hours back and you said that. I, I, I don't know what I would say my favourite anime is, but I do I'm, like I'm, it. I'm glad I finally found mine. I haven't been able to get into it. Have my <sighs> But I, yeah. I mean, I watched like the first episode, but I don't know. I'm I'm not saying it's bad. I just haven't really been able to get into it. You I know, feel I, like I might have to like, watch three. the movies. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I was gonna say. It's like first three episodes. If you haven't decided by then, then you're not you're not gonna like it. Yeah, I know. Like the first three episode rule. Yeah. But I think if I were going to pick an anime series to be my favorite, it would probably be Fate Zero and Fate Stay Night Unlimited Blade Works. Really good. Really yeah, I, good. I watched Fate Zero not knowing what the Fate series was on Netflix when it first came out, and I was, like, stunned at how good it was. It's, like, the best. And Fate Stay Night <laughs> is the best anime I've seen in a while. 
I, Do you have a contradicting opinion, Tyler? I just want to say I want to get the... Okay, I know it's available on Netflix, but I can't yeah. watch Netflix in private because it's like Netflix is only on like my uh, on the uh, TV in my living room, so it's going to be a bit weird trying. Why can't you to... watch it on your laptop? Because I don't have Netflix on my laptop. <laughs> you don't. How it it's is. called the internet. It's just how it yeah, is. No. Just accept it. But um, I was going to be like, yeah, you know what? I'm starting this thing where I'm buying blu-rays and guilt freely watching anime you know being like you know what <laughs> pat myself on the back i went out i didn't stream this i know you can stream stuff legally you know crunchyroll and this that and the other but i was like you know what there's been so many animes that i've just watched through stuff like youtube when it's been uploaded with crap quality in parts I know that YouTube are getting better about that, but I do remember watching maybe the entirety of Oron High School Host Club, uh, oh. a large chunk of Inuyasha, like, just people putting it up on YouTube, you know? Yeah, um, I'm kind of jealous that you can buy the Blu-rays and just watch yeah. them and not feel guilty that you yeah, purchased the it must be nice Blu-ray. to have money. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, I also lose a good chunk of the time of my free life to do creative things, but hey, you know, at least I have money to buy Blu-rays of <laughs> animes I've already watched. Um, but yeah, like, uh, I, f- I kind of felt bad about doing it, because it's not like I was out of my way going to uh, pirating sites or anything like that, because I'm so scared that those things are going to just give you malware. So, like, in the past, I would literally just watch anything that was uploaded on YouTube. I know that's still dodgy, but hey, it wasn't me 100% breaking the law yet. There, I mean, it was other people, damn it. <laughs> the site I use to uh, watch videos, uh, I'm not going to say illegally or, yeah, illegally, or whatever. Don't. I mean, I wouldn't it's, mention. It's pretty fair. I mean, I, uh, I... called Netflix. But I've been using I like a word. Funimation, not Funimation, uh, Crunchyroll a lot more. They're pretty good. I mean, That's if I had money, I would just pay for a Crunchyroll subscription. I, they have a lot of shows that I want to watch that weren't available. I, I got very lucky when I got really into Crunchyroll as well, because I can't remember what a, uh, anime I was interested in, but it just finished like its season. So I could marathon the whole thing on Crunchyroll, and I was like, yes! <laughs> I didn't have to wait around. <laughs> That's the only way I watch anime. Like, yeah, just, I, like after it's come out. Yeah, I don't, I don't like waiting for a week and then seeing the episode. I'd rather it come fully out and then watch it afterwards, you know? I did that when Attack on Titan was first coming out, and that's the only anime I've ever done that with. I watched Attack on Titan and Angel Beats on Crunchyroll, but that was after they had already come out. And we are not sponsored by Crunchyroll, by the way, people. Uh, please go to crunchyroll.com slash goldguy81 and sign up for a free trial today. <laughs> you you don't actually have one of those but things, wouldn't that though, just right? just bring them to your Who profile? Yeah, I, I have no idea what it'll do. <laughs> it's like they're paying you money, but you, you have no way to act, give them access to Crunchyroll. Yeah. Uh, I can't believe looking through this list, though, the... Uh, the fact that Kaon is in here and Maria Holic. By the way, I recommend Maria Holic, but just. Uh, <laughs> it's hard to explain Maria Holic. <laughs> I think everybody should watch it. That includes um, you two. Wait, let me look at this. Huh? Oh no, you are not allowed to look at what it is. You have to watch it with. I'm looking knowing. at it, it's too late. You can't. Hurry up. Look, okay, fine. What, Close what the is tab. the word? Uh, what is the word? Look, yeah, what am I supposed to be watching? Let me just type it out because saying it really quickly in an English accent just is, isn't isn't going to do it any. God damn it! My mouse cursor is stuck. <laughs> Here, I'm just, let me just do it. Do not read the plot. <laughs> uh, just yeah, I'm adding it to my list. I guess. Look, you need to watch Maria Holic without knowing anything about it. So what do you do? You put, you did the same thing that TDB Tom did, which was look it up and ruin the surprise. I didn't <laughs> That's really the only look it reason up. why I would watch the show. I had no idea. <laughs> I'm not looking at the synopsis. I'm just adding it to my list. 
Yes. Don't look. Just watch. <laughs> You're so freaking weird. See, you say I know, that, I know. But I you're going to be There's well rewarded with a what the fuck moment. So is it a good enemy, or...? No. Is it a what the no, fuck he enemy? He won't mention it. It is. He just is That's like... what it is. <laughs> uh. Literally, he, he, won't, he won't say anything about it, because it's just one of those types of anime that if you hear anything about it, it's basically a spoiler. Basically, it because ruins it the entire ruins... thing, if you know mm -hmm. it. It's so good, though. I don't know why. <laughs> it's uh, like if I was to give it a analytical review, I would say, nah, it's kind of boring and bad. Nah, I, I actually, this is one of my guilty pleasures. <laughs> I mean, I really oh, so it's mine. that kind of anime. So is it like the kind of anime that most people would agree is bad, but you like it anyway? Yes. I mean, I'm gonna go be the twin tail now, excuse me. Yeah. I have no, turn into a girl. I have no idea if I've seen a show like that. I mean, how many? How much? How many series have you watched? You know? I don't know. I I don't have an anime list. Maybe I should make one. Yeah. Maybe you should. Maybe I should. TJ one zero two three. Hmm. Yeah. Drugs are bad. Drugs okay. are very bad. Oh no! Wait, we got a message. We did. Well, we got a message. Oh! Uh, this is, is going to be... Is he, is he coming? See, this is going to be a uh, cameo and a half. <laughs> hey! Hey, sorry about this. Fashionably nice late, I see, Stuart. Fashionably <laughs> late for like an hour. <laughs> How are I, you all I doing? Guess, look, because well, you're here, like, Gold Guy, TJ... Would you mind if we started from scratch? No, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> Let's we start have... recording right Yo, here. come on. Hey, everybody. Welcome to this week's episode of the Shifty Key Podcast. My name is TDB Tyler, and today we God have <laughs> Reese, a.k.a. Spartan Sloth. Um, That's me. Vic, a.k.a. Mugs of Tea. That's apparently and me. And TJ1023. That's Stuart. <laughs> <laughs> So, and I'm Liam Hensworth. Uh, what we're going to do is... Wait. Should we just slap on like an extra half an hour at the end of this one? Who knows what we should do. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not editing this. Because I feel bad about just being like, yeah, Stuart's here. Time to do questions. And it's like, you know... I, <laughs> I mean... <laughs> I, I, I have no idea what's happening. I'm scared. Look. I, 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 will, I will explain why I'm late and I, it's completely my fault. I got to 10 to 7, I was like, okay, I'm really hungry, I'm going to have a pre-podcast snack. Went down, made some ham and cheese rolls, completely forgot what I was doing, sat down, watched the news, and I was like, shit, I made a beer corn. <laughs> I came straight back up, and I was, wow. I was like, fuck, I'm an hour late. That is the I most mean, British story I've ever heard. Hey! I'm so sorry. <laughs> I mean, I just ate pretzels for the first half of this podcast, so... It was true, like, literally one of the first things he said was... <laughs> Hello, with a mouthful of bloody pretzels. No, 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 no. Like today we have. No, 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 no. So we were. Um, uh, I, I would like to say we were talking in depthly about anime, but to be honest, we've been full of tangents today, so we could be talking about whatever the hell you want. Yeah. <laughs> what was the last thing you left off on? Left off uh, to try and slide uh, into the convo. Uh. We, I think um, we're just wrapping up talking about an anime that I have a guilty pleasure for. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. So, do you have any guilty pleasures in media that you love but other people in hate? Yeah. <laughs> that that no, uh, no no I kind of just I don't know actually I haven't really thought about having anything I d no no <laughs> what, confused me I'm like do I don't I no no oh, maybe I don't no no yeah. I, no not right now not right it's, now it's okay it's okay. <laughs> You're here, mm -hmm. and you're you're still like on the same like speed that the rest of us are at. Yeah. <laughs> and... Talking about anime, there is one I'm watching right now, which is pretty funny. It's uh, oh? Zero No Suki Sukema. Zero No Sukema. It's like a guy who got transported to a world with like less magic and stuff like that, and he's completely, completely out of it. And he's just like, "What's this sacred staff of destruction?" And they're like, "Oh, it's a rocket launcher." And he's like, "Oh, I know that." It's like, "Yay!" <laughs> I, I would have lost it if he said the angel beats just now. 
Yeah, like if you said something we just discussed, it would be like, whoa. <laughs> well, apart from, well, apart from that, no, I haven't been, I haven't got any other like guilty pleasures. That's, I just kind of just do my own thing right now. How about guilty crown? Question mark. That, no. Oh, that was. Shit. Oh. Haven't even seen it. <laughs> Don't. It's not worth it. The Don't. music's really okay. good. It's on the list. Uh, I, I'm sorry. I, I try not to be rude when it comes to stuff like that, but Guilty Crown was just such a huge turd. <laughs> hey, look. There's nothing wrong with turds. Look, the quality of this particular podcast, because we've not been able to keep our thoughts in one place for like uh, hey, at least more we're, than one we're minute. A shiny, we're a shiny manga animated turd. Yeah, we're golden. <laughs> That's Guilty Crown. With a the, shiny animated turd. I like we, that for We are polished. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very polished. Well, I, you like, know what? I know what's going in my sketchbook t- for tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Just sketch a golden turd. <laughs> the oh, I thought you meant like you were going to sketch an anime character hold a giant turd. I'm Ooh. not that good yet. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> okay, fair enough. I Like, um... For the unfortunate people out there that have me on their Twitter, uh, I have a sketchbook that I'm trying to draw in uh, on a daily basis, and it, it's hard. It's been like so long, eight or nine years since I've actually drawn physically or even like on the computer anything, and uh, it's difficult remembering how to do things. <laughs> it's annoying. I will relearn, though. It will just take some time. Oh, I, think I will that... relearn. I will yeah. come back stronger. <laughs> More powerful than you can possibly imagine. Yeah, I feel like that's, that's like a promo for like, for like a really bad wrestling anime company. It's like, yeah. I will come back stronger. I will draw better. <laughs> I just... See, like... I want to now be like, now that I've said that, have... A couple of weeks where, like, my drawings are shit and, you know, sketchy and not very good at all. And then, like, one day there's something that's mind-blowing, you know? And be like, yeah, there we go. The rust has worn off. I know it's not going to be like that. It's probably going to be, like, two and a half years needed to get to any decent stage again. But, like, (laughs) I would love to just be able to go from drawing a shitty-looking zombie Pikachu to... Like the Mona Lisa the next day, <laughs> not <laughs> with very little time. I suppose a lot of people would actually want that. I don't know where I was going with that. Someone help me. I wonder. If, <laughs> I wonder, Tyler, if you became mm. a good artist overnight, would Zombie Pikachu increase in value? I mean, I hope not, because it's but terrible. It? It's like a, it's like a five-year-old drew it. But then, you know? then you have a narrative. It's like this was the artist before he became good. I might keep a hold of it somewhere and just be like, this is the moment where I decided to try and draw again. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I'm, but I'm just doing the... Uh, I remember Game Grumps were talking about this years ago on like a Pokemon playthrough that they were doing where it was just like... It was a piece of advice from somebody else. I can't remember who it was. And they were like, just do stuff on the daily. You know? Even if you sit down for 20 seconds and draw a shitty... Smiley face, just do it. To quote Shia what? LaBeouf. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and just you know, if you want to do it, then just put time to try to do it every day until you eventually get better, because it's going to happen naturally. Uh, if you keep doing it, of course, practice. You know, no one practice. gets good overnight. And can someone else help me? I, s- I sound like I'm shamelessly plugging a sketchbook, which I really hope not to show off. Please people. go ahead. Tyler's Twitter account. No. Can you link to that. No, Luis. Don't, yes. Don't make yes. the link shitter. You can look at drawings. I know what day. we can talk about to get out of this. Yeah. Stuart, yeah. is it okay to talk about one of your projects? Uh, you mean the project that's kind of in the comeback stage? Uh, I suppose comeback. it's okay to talk about it. Yeah, I was about to say, is it too early to talk about a possible comeback? Uh, the planning stages are up and running. Um, in terms of like, there's a new logo in place. Um, and I'm trying to work on an intro, but 
but I haven't kind of figured everything else out yet. Oh. It's been a while since I've done the project, so it's kind of like a rebirth. But yeah, you can talk about it. Let's you, talk about it. You Let's could say, <laughs> could say, uh, don't call it a comeback. You've been don't there for years. <laughs> <laughs> so, which project, Tyler, were you alluded to? Wink, wink. Uh, possibly uh, a one-on-one community-related <laughs> project. <laughs> okay, I thought that was the one you meant. Okay. Um, so, between, what was it, 3rd of July 2013 and the 5th of July 2015, I did a, a, a an on-and-off podcast called Community One-on-One, which was like an RT-based website podcast that I did where I just talked to community members. So I was like, oh, this is a pretty cool idea. Like, I talk, to a, I talk to a community member. I kind of get them to open up about themselves. And then people listen to the show, and if they liked it, then they go on the website, friend them, get to know them, and talk to me. And it's like kind of a way of like trying to expand people's friend spaces. And then I just stopped the show. But I'm looking to bring it back because I kind of missed doing it. And I was like, yeah. And I was like, oh, holy shit. Actually, people really want it to come back. Like, people were interested in coming on and doing it. I was like, wait, people still want that show to come back? I was like, yay! So, yeah, I'm looking at redoing it. I kind of miss that, to be honest. Yeah, I will say, like, it's not just to, like, build up hope for you or anything like that. Because I don't need to hype it any more than needed. Uh, but if you need any help with that stuff in getting that out there and noticed and even help with music or anything like that, then I am willing to help you, my friend. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Um, I mean, like I say, I've, I, um, I asked for a new logo to be designed because the old one, I was like, if I'm going to bring it back, I just want a fresh start with it. But kind of pick up in terms of episodes. I was like, okay, so got a new logo, I'm looking at doing a new intro, I kind of know how it's all going to go, and I'm looking at trying to get like a webcam recording device, because my webcam can't record, so I'm trying to work out how to get web- webcam recording software, and tr- I'm just trying to like, throw a bunch of shit together, and see what works, what doesn't, in practice, and then I'll hopefully put out a finished product within like, the next month or so, I'm just kind of, I'm just trying to tinker with stuff right now, but yeah, I'm. it's hopefully... I can involve a lot as many as many members as possible, so music would definitely be helpful. Yay! I I definitely got into a position though where you were like, "Oh, I need help with making the logo," and I was like, "Yeah, man, I'll help out with that." And then I sat down and I was like looking at your uh, previous logo, and I was like, "Damn, that's actually a good logo." And then any original idea that I had just disappeared and i was like i don't think i can make anything better than that <laughs> i was just stuck there like you know what no I, i've hit a rut and just I left l- it i was very lucky in the fact that the the guy who designed it I can't, I can't remember his name i think it was delta first on the website um it's been like a year since i talked to the guy um actually i think it's probably been longer than that um probably uh, yeah but I, I he just did it for me for free he was just like oh yeah here's a logo i was like really and it's like yeah you could you can have the logo i was like and he's like yeah like cool i put on a shirt <laughs> and then didn't make any more shows after i was like i have my own shirt for the show it was a one-off i was like oh yeah i should probably make a new logo at this point <laughs> <laughs> something fresh something, something fresh good. something fresh um so i got a new logo um i want to like i said there's a couple of things i want to tinkle with but the idea is it's getting something community based back out there because i kind of feel that Bruce Steve's everywhere at the moment, and I kind of, even though I'm not on the website personally, I can kind of try and bring something back to the website from like an outside perspective. Like, hey, I'm on YouTube, but I will link as much shit back to the website as possible and try and get people to go back there. And it's like, yay, go, 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 go. And like, just try to push. (laughs) It's definitely (laughs) needed because, like, ugh. The world is a scary place. The world is a scary place. I got a lot of friends that would just. One second on Rooster's Teeth, and then it done the new site update, and then they all just kind of went everywhere. It would have been like a lot of people now only hang out on Twitter, or you can only get them through Skype or, or Discord or yeah. TeamSpeak. And I'm just sitting yeah. there like, I don't have time to be like trying to connect to all my friends from Rooster Teeth and jump around on all these different pieces of social media all the time. Like, I don't have all of these things. I, I just figured out how Twitter works, you know, so I come with some slack. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> at, at first I was just like, what, how, how do, how do you tweet? You know, <laughs> I was like, such a noob. 
But here's here's one thing. I'm, I know we're speaking on um, TeamSpeak right now, but this is um, this is something I only just started to learn to use purely because of this podcast. But it, it wasn't until I actually started using it, I realized how many of my friends on the Rooster Teeth website had actually used it or people who still... Uh, my biscuits just fell over. Um, no! No! <laughs> that was so British again. That was so British. Uh, <laughs> my biscuits. Oh, no. Oh, no. Um... But it's like, I, I didn't realize how many of my friends actually had used TeamSpeak. I was like, do you know, this is actually a pretty good place for someone to come in and actually meet fellow community members. I didn't realize until I did this podcast, I was like, oh, wait, like, I recognize a lot of the people on this na- on the names down the left. I was like, I know you, I know you, I know you. I was like, wait, what the fuck? Everyone's hanging out here. No wonder I've been missing everyone. <laughs> Yeah, TeamSpeak is definitely where like a lot of social connections happened, especially uh, Rooster Speaks TeamSpeak. Uh, shout out to them because it's kind of the advertising that they need, I guess. Because mm-hmm. I, I I owe them a lot. Like, uh, if I didn't log in completely accidentally onto their server many years ago, <laughs> there's a possibility that the shifty keys never would have come about. You know, life would have been different. Life would have been or the very uh, different. latecomers. Well, the latecomers would have existed, but their podcast might not have existed because I was the one oh. that really pushed for it. So, oh, without the Latecomers podcast, the Shifty Key podcast might not have happened, you know, and so on and so on. But then again, that's going back way too far. That's making me, that's making that's me sound I important. Existed. I'm not that. I existed back then. But yeah, like, there's a lot of connections that are made through TeamSpeak. I just wish there was a time where everyone could be online at the same time. Like, that's the thing that bugs me. Like, everyone right, has... Right now. Well, everyone has different time zones and different work commitments now. And it's like, damn, I barely have enough time to talk to any, any of these people that I used to talk to on the regular. You know? <laughs> it sucks. Yeah. Like Gold Guy, who I've only spoken to for the past couple Wait, of hours. Who's that? And you've been gone for months. <laughs> Who are you talking to, Tyler? I don't know, Goldie. I don't know, Gold Guy. <laughs> <laughs> like, it, it was crazy. We used to hang out so often, and now, now we don't. But I'm hey. here now. Hey, the activity is everybody's fault. <laughs> <laughs> I was Including actually... Including yours, audience. No, I'm joking. <laughs> yeah, do more stuff. Why are you watching a dumb podcast, Dumb Ramari, right? But Hey, that's our audience you're talking to. <laughs> I I I watch this podcast. Alright. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm... that's the that's the project. There you go. That's that there wraps up go. nicely. That's the project. <laughs> yeah. I I was just drilling that into a hole that I'm not quite sure I could have got out of. But Same. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad the old <laughs> projects are coming back. Yay! I really am. Okay, I'm I'm finally announcing the restart of the Golden Group. Luis, you're going to be uh <laughs> writing every single week now. Jeez, I think he I think he needs consent first. But no. Once a member, I have signed him blood. <laughs> He's always a member. What I will say, I know Stuart's only been here for <laughs> 10 to 20 minutes. Yeah, 20 minutes about that. Uh would you guys like to do some questions? As in questions, <laughs> I can do no. questions. I, I don't I don't think I've heard of from, I don't think I've heard of from TJ from like the last ten minutes. Is he still there? TJ, yeah. are you alive? Okay, I'm that's good. Distracted. Okay, I'm, make, I'm making my anime list thingy. Okay. Oh, oh shit! What in the link you do? Um, TJ, what I will say while you're doing that, did you want me to look for the questions then, and be the questioner for today? He's a yes, you can. Look, you have just as much authority. How about for this podcast, you and I are co-hosts? I um, be a host. I mean, I don't. Don't put that me in a position neither, of host. You're not host. You're a co-host. Okay. <laughs> no wonder why this one has not had much direction in it. <laughs> I I'm a vice host. You guys are going to definitely have to vamp for a little while because <laughs> this website, <though. laughs> Wait, should, Tyler, do you want me? Oh, never mind. <laughs> do, uh, do what? 
Like that was brilliant. It's like, do you want me to? Oh, never mind. <laughs> no, like <laughs> I realized I was gonna say, do you want me to go get like do find the questions for you? But then I don't have the link, so you would have to get me the link, and then because your internet connection, like, yeah. I got this. I'm just hoping that the website is, uh, uh, you know, going to be okay with the fact that Ruby's finale is on. It's probably going to be loading slower than ever with the servers being filled with people. I'm just uh, a little bit worried that you might drop randomly. God, what a podcast that would be to lose. <laughs> you know? Oh, dear. How will we go on? Yeah, I'm sure we could make it up to the audience by playing Cards Against Humanity for a half hour afterwards. And just, just being like, like the yeah. podcast just randomly drops off and we'd have to start again. It's like, oh, hey, welcome yeah. to the podcast. Wait, what? <laughs> well, welcome to attempt number two. <laughs> da, da, da. Vamp, vamp, vamp. Da, 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 da. We could talk about Angel Beats all over again. Yeah, do you know that like plot twist at the end that really is a massive plot hole? Yeah, man, that was a thing. Uh, I'm literally just holding down the push to talk button while I'm trying to get some questions. So, well, we all do what we must. Yeah. Uh, mm. Right. This is going to be a bit weird. Apologies if I've already. Yeah. Uh... Right. <clears throat> I'm not going to do the do, 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 do questions. I'll do uh, it. Do, 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 do. Okay. All right. Apologies if these have been read out before. Luis has the list of what's been asked and answered already, so I'm just going to read out what I find interesting. I'm going to start with Sunny88P, because why not? Why not? That's a good question. Uh, I just realized that one of <laughs> one or two of his questions are like a bit risque, and I was about to read both of Do them, it. so I quickly stopped. No, read the risque. <laughs> Um, okay, here's your question from Sunny88P. What would be a good song to listen to while having sex? <laughs> hmm. Ah, uh, um... Ah, uh, that is a good question. There's so many. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh, you... Obviously that moment, so... Well, do you go with one with, like, quite a fast beat? You try and keep up with it in time <laughs> tempo? Or do you okay, go I got like, an rhythm? answer. Oh, let, let bodies hit the floor. <laughs> 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 wow! I think that's what they call necrophilia, dude. <laughs> it's like a dumb yeah. Um, I'm, I'm what a way to kill that's... the mood, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I could just imagine now, like with really inappropriate songs at that time, you know, like, uh, you know, like the music from Ridge Racer, like the early nineties. Gabba techno trance God. music that was just boo, 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 constantly. <laughs> I can imagine that. <laughs> that 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 I can imagine. But then again, I just can't imagine a bit though. It just turns it just goes Ridge Racer, and it's just like I completely <laughs> kill the mood. The uh, actual really soundtrack from Ridge Racer. That is yeah. now my answer. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh man, what would be a good. Thing. I'm trying to go through my playlist. I'd about to say shake it off, but that's more of a masturbation to one, isn't it? It's more like shake it <laughs> off. Um, that would be really awkward as well. Like it would, it would. With your partner there. This is my song. <laughs> my song. You don't need to go away. Uh, I can't think of one. I really can't. Wait, TJ, you just dropped a link. That's my it's, song. It's your song. Let me just open I up what this watch is. It. Why can't I watch it? I don't know. Let's have a look. It's, what? it's oh, damn nice. Oh, you dear. can't watch it? I don't uh, know. I can definitely watch it's, it. It's inappropriate for children. That is amazing. I don't even know what I'm watching right now. <laughs> I My can't God. even. I'm scarred. Tyler, did you watch it? Yeah, it's the macaron song. <laughs> uh... <laughs> So, have we all answered? I, I said I couldn't think of anything. I, there's so many, like, if I was to answer it seriously, there's a lot of stuff out there that you could get away with pretty easily. And it fit the mood, if you know what I'm saying. Wink, wink, hey, nudge, baby. nudge, poke, poke. Uh, 
Ooh, but poke, poke. for humor's sake, it would definitely be Ridge Racer's soundtrack. Like starting somewhere from like maybe uh, Rotterdam Nation. How do I remember that song? <laughs> like that's how, how do I remember Ridge. any songs from Ridge Racer? Right. <clears throat> All right, this question, moving on to the yeah. next one. It's from Dr. Sparks, and it is, how often do you go back and watch the old Rooster Teeth stuff? Ooh. Uh, what do you classify as old at that point? Like, is it more than five years old, or are we talking, like, early season, like, some of that old um, side projects to, like, Red Flash Boot? Like, you had that machine, that, that they had, like, that mech one. They had, like, a little mech three-episode thing, didn't they? Yeah, they did. That one was a weird one. Uh, I I would say yes. I would frequently go back and watch the old stuff, but mainly because that's because I'm not in touch with the new stuff as much, I would like to say. Like I feel people have different eras of what they enjoyed the most from the company. Yeah. You know? Um I mean I've gone back and watched some of the old like Rooster Teeth Achievement guys, like yeah. listening to like Jeff and Jack do like some of the their very early Achievement Hunter guides is always a bit Weird in a way because of how they because of how they like kind of put themselves across on the mic. They're, they're very cool and composed and very slow talking. Nowadays, it's kind of like ah, bah, 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 bah. but like Rooster Teeth stuff, I don't at all. I don't think I've listened to anything recently more than like three weeks old. I don't I don't go back and watch the old content. I I guess yeah. Like if I've seen it before, I'm not really gonna watch it again. That's not to say like mm. their stuff doesn't have replayability and re like yeah. value in that way, but it's just like I think they just put out so much content now. It's hard to go back and watch something old when you can always watch the new stuff. If that makes sense. I mean, I have a friend who's seen the Fuel Let's Play like three, five times. I don't even know. He lost count. God. <laughs> he must be watching that as he's going to sleep or something. You yeah, know? he's like he did just to to say he's done it that much times and he does it like. Like while he's playing video games or something. Uh, I suppose it would make a good podcast. I mean, it's almost like two hours long, so I guess in that way it was like off topic before off topic. Yeah. God, we we could have all been playing Fuel at the beginning of this, and we would have been nearly done that by means. now. We would have probably been thinking more straight as well. <laughs> <laughs> I had to actually focus. Hey, how's it going, TJ? Yeah, TJ, how's it going? Um, Making you up my anime question? list. The question was like, how frequently do you go back to the old Rooster Teeth stuff? Uh, every once in a while, I'll go back. I'll, I'll, I'm always going back and watching a lot of the old shorts because I think they're hilarious. And I really miss like RT shorts being a regular thing. So I go back yeah. to that stuff. Old Achievement Hunter stuff, not so much. Like, I don't. I I don't know why I don't like Let's Plays that much anymore. But I still follow Rooster Teeth a lot, and I listen to the Off Topic podcast every Friday. So, still a big fan of Achievement Hunter, still a big fan of Rooster Teeth, just can't do Let's Plays too much anymore. Which doesn't really relate to the question too much. Yeah, it does, whatever. in a way. It does. I kind of all under the same bracket, to be fair, like at this point, because they all have like their little tiny families, like you have Funhouse, you have Screw Attack, you have The No, you have Achievement Hunter... And then you have Rooster Teeth, and it's like, I kind of put it all under one bracket at this point. Um, yeah, so I know what you mean. We all answered, yeah? Yeah, I think all so. Right. see. <clears throat> Try and Excuse find me. another question that's I gotta go drink some, uh, some CT right now. Oh, CT. Um, yeah, throwback. What I would have to say, this question's probably been asked. I'm going out on the whim and hoping that neither of you two have been online as we've asked it. Have you ever been in a pillow um, fight by Sony 88P? <laughs> Again. No. Uh, I've never been invited. I ever been Why in does a no one fight? like me? I Why? mean, I've, n I've I... never technically been in a pillow fight, but we have these pillows on the back of our couch that you can take off. And every once in a while, my friends will just grab them and slam them into my face. Does that count? I mean, that counts. Yeah, so I've never been in a pillow fight per se, but I've had a pillow fight with me. I, I 
have got video evidence that I've been in a pillow fight before, and it's on your channel somewhere. <laughs> it is? Yeah, when we... <laughs> <laughs> you don't pay attention to the videos that we put out, do you? Um, yeah, uh, to I pay Tom. attention to the podcast ones. <laughs> oh, the ones that take a lot of effort, man. Don't get any interest. Well. What's wrong with you? <laughs> uh, no, um, I remember when we were saying thanks. I think it was the first year that we managed to survive as a channel. Uh, there was like a little scene where um, we were giving resolutions and one of mine was stupid. It was like, get into more pillow fights and literally, as if on cue, uh, TDB Tom spins around and fucking throws a pillow fight like straight at my face and I throw it back at him. So He throws a pillow fight at you? He throws a pillow Man. at me. Never but, even saw it coming. So uh, I can say yes, technically, but... I could also say yes, like there has been unrecorded events. So yeah, leave that to your imagination. I love oh Tyler's my. complex answers. <laughs> I, I I ramble too often, but that's the person I am. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I guess that's all the questions uh, that we really need to do. Cause they, are we going to do, do a free... minimum? I thought we were over G or... Uh, I mean, we could we could do one more, but I don't see the point because uh, like all of these have been answered for as, as far as I'm aware. I'm I'm not sure. I haven't scared. answered any of them. Guarantee you that much. Uh, I know that much. Oh, I know what we can do. Would Stuart and Matt like to yes. fight over who will ask the audience a question? All right. What? Y you can ask the audience a question. How about no, that, that was my question. What? Just literally what? Question mark? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do we have any better questions? <laughs> Can oh, I just man. be the top of the podcast and just be white? What? Um, I suppose I the other question, I suppose, is uh, which do you find cuter? Doge or sloth? Oh. Doge. Doge. Sorry, Spartan. Yeah, sorry, Luis. I know what she, Luis she, is answering. Chiba's our waifu. <laughs> Wait, no, no, they're not. That's bestiality. The, yeah, forget that. TJ, that doesn't what are make you it talking wrong. about? Chiba's are just cute. <laughs> but that's it. That's I as far, just that's far as guilty pleasure in life. <laughs> as far as this goes. Yeah, and I like how he said best girl when Chiba's can be male. TJ, is there something you're not really um, telling Confessing us right now? I think you need yeah. to let it out. First no. step is admitting you have a problem. Uh, look, That's actually I why we called you here today. You. It's actually an intervention. We need to talk to you about your, about your uh, cheaper problem. <laughs> and plus you said that's, uh, you know, best girl. Clearly you just... That's a lie. <laughs> oh, it's a straight up lie. Yeah, <laughs> definitely a lie. Because we all know Blake is best girl 2016. So wait, fight wait. me. I think I feel like Winry is going to be mad at you. Whoa! Well, look, whoa, you can have multiple whoa. best girls, okay? Don't be mentioning Winry. You can't, here. Tyler. It's not cool to have side bitches. It. You can have joint best. No, it's not best if there are two of them. Yeah. Why you, not? You pick one. What do you mean? Look, why not? Okay. Look, I'm not going to be happy. Best implies over everything else. Yeah. I'm not going to be happy right. if I cannot have Armstrong from Full Metal Alchemist as a best girl you, alongside Winry. You either <laughs> say that you either say that they're good or you say that one person is good. Or Barry the I'm Chopper willing to is fight best over girl this. hands down. <laughs> You're willing to face. fight over having a bunch of side bitches? Look, TJ. That's a harem. T T Actually, no, that's not a harem. <laughs> okay, yes. it's not side bitches. What you are what you are describing is Mormonism. A Look, harem. TJ. We don't like no harems around to here. The best girls except if it's going to be a twin <laughs> See? Yes. Fine. And I think on that note, we will <laughs> end this probably. Hey, it was great being on this. Thank you, Luis, for letting me be here. Yeah, thanks, Luis, for inviting two guests and then disappearing. <laughs> I didn't disappear. Yeah. No, and I thanks, mean, Luis, for disappearing so we could talk late. about anime. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, Luis invited you guys and then peaced out completely. 
<laughs> okay, I mean, so anyone want to take grateful. bets on how quickly it takes Luis to uh, complain about what we talk about? Like um, five but, seconds. I, I think Don't, it will be before he even starts watching the recording or listening to like, the recording. Probably. Didn't I say, Tyler, that like, bef- like when we were talking before, like that we should just start talking about anime immediately? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, like, we to be fair, gone. we managed to get like twenty minutes of uh, you know useless rambling in before we started talking about anime. <laughs> yeah, I think that's pretty good. Yeah, I mean, I guess we can wrap it up. Sorry, Stuart, that you only had like a little while minutes. in the limelight. <laughs> no, but, but to be fair, but to be fair, that was my fault. I got sidetracked by the news and ham and cheese rolls, so, so my stomach's w- full. But unfortunately, were, the podcast was a little empty. <laughs> were the rolls worth it? <laughs> oh! Were they? They were they were actually semi subpar ham rolls, like ham and cheese rolls. I mm. uh, I didn't exactly. I kind of rushed it in time for the podcast, and I'm just like, what am I doing? Oh, I'm I'm watching TV. Of course, that's what I'm doing. It's completely <laughs> lost. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but right. thank you very much for having me on, though. It's always nice to be on when I can make it. Yeah. We'll eat lunch. When community one on one starts off strong again, then we need to like just throw you back on the podcast to try and. Like, get you in as early as possible for you to just yell about Community One and One and disappear again. Just I'm so sure it's like the first thing people hear about. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure when all five people have actually listened to the podcast, I'm sure I'm, I'm, I'll be delighted to come back on and plug it. <laughs> You'll be like, yep. Just reminding you that didn't get through an hour long podcast that I did a thing. <laughs> <laughs> I did a thing. Yay. But it's always nice to be on this one as well. So even a Community One on One completely and utterly flops, I always have a. Uh, the Shifty Key podcast to come back to. I love you guys. Yay. Black, oh. See that Louise? Somebody loves us. Yay! I mean... <laughs> yeah, sorry. I have one fan. <laughs> TJ, yeah, you sound like you're miles away. <laughs> no, I don't. I Shut up. I, I don't count. Go, guy. I mean, look, we found out you existed earlier today. Like, I, yeah. I thought you were dead. <laughs> no, Listen, I was dead. I literally woke them like I wait. What? I was hit by a car, and then I realized that this is all angel beats, and that uh, I gotta go be obliterated. I see what you did there. <laughs> is, is is this the thing that you need to accomplish? I mean, see you guys. It was a great podcast. <laughs> He's gonna get obliterated now. It's all awful. I I I did what I wanted to do. I got to talk about Sai, and I got to go be on the podcast again. And now this is what I needed to do. Obliterated, you need to be on a shifty podcast and keep obliterated. Yeah. Right. Bye. Yeah, now we need to say I already got though. Yeah. Bye. So uh until next time, uh <laughs> don't message Luis with messages <laughs> filled with pictures of the best girl. Okay. Uh bye. <laughs> bye. bye. Tyler. Why are you whispering? I don't know. There you go. Now, now I'm really concerned. Uh, I'm dying. <laughs> Thanks for listening to the Shifty Key Podcast. The intro and outro music is provided to us by our editor, TDB Tyler. To get more involved with the Shifty Key Podcast, you can answer the questions for the audience asked by our guests or... Even ask the cast a question of your very own, either here in the YouTube comments or in our Rooster Teeth group. To keep updated with this channel's shenanigans, you can follow us on Twitter, join and watch our group on Rooster Teeth, or simply subscribe. All links will be in the description. Until next week, goodbye. <laughs> Don't die. We need you for I, I, I got things. Oh, that's what it is. <laughs> Vic was totally here the whole time. Oh, it's oh, no, Mac, you? Oh, it's Vic. That's yeah. not Vic. That's it's, Alex. It's Alex. It's Alex. Yes, no. stealing. <laughs> it's Vic. <laughs> okay. Vic, by hey, the way, the, the rest of the cast are mad what? because Wait. I mentioned that you and me were talking while the podcast was recording, <laughs> and they got super jealous. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, yeah, hey, glad Vic. we know who your real friends are. Vic, Vic. Shut up. Vic. What? Hi. What? Hi. 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 It's been a while. Yeah, it has been. Fight, fight, fight. Pretty good. How about you? Um, you know, 
Busy. <laughs> oh, I stopped okay. myself. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't My. finish that sentence, otherwise I would have smacked you. When I visited <laughs> oh. you in September, I would have smacked you. Oh, spoiler oh, alert. Whoa. There may spoiler be a video alert. podcast. No, I'm joking. That would Are be we? very no. awkward. We should. <laughs> Are we no. on the plane? The goal I'd be like, just die. sitting there, like, hello. And come back from the dead. Hello. I, I hope uh, Louise oh appreciates my. how long this Easter egg is, just just to add to the randomness, you know, to yeah. bring in Vic. You know, out of the blue. Yeah. For shits it's and a giggles. podcast with me on it. That too. Wait, Still wait. Sitting yeah. back like, what is Did she this? come out of the blue or did she come out of the cyan? <laughs> Whoa. I don't know. Very Shout different out. things. <laughs> oh, I found a pink ward. Yay. Yeah. Oh, nice. I'm playing League, sorry. You're playing League. <laughs> oh no, shit! I understand that reference. I left uh, Heather up top, so... I mean, it, it, it wouldn't find be a Heather. good anti louis podcast if we didn't bring up anime and League. <laughs> oh, sh- shit. Look. <laughs> oh my god, I'm <laughs> so gonna you die. Leave? Vic, you oh, can I show did. me how to play later, because maybe my computer will be able to cope with it. Who knows? Actually, no, Quirky brought up a good point. I don't know how, like, EU servers... Like, because you would have to be on North American servers. Yeah, yeah. so I would lag around like terrible. Uh, um, he could probably. No, he could. You know, he could probably play on EU West. It, it would be. He would have a little bit higher ping, but it would be manageable. Yeah, yeah. but he wouldn't be able to play with us. There's a yeah, high no ping. Is an extreme. Oh, I thought you could no, only. Play, I thought no, you could only just, play with people on your servers. Yeah, but you can have a couple of accounts on set up with different servers. I'm gonna have to make multiple accounts. You can Whoa. if you want. That sounds like work. It's not. <laughs> a lot of work. It's not. We're working just right like now. Just we, Tyler, a podcast. We, just to rub it into Luis, into Luis's face, we'll make an account using the Shifty Key podcast. Do uh, it! Email. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, that This is all getting recorded, too. Oh, my I'd God. I'd like to point out, Luis, we finally time have you listen people. to this, there's going to be a Shifty Key podcast League of Legends account. It's going to be great. <laughs> He'll be a smurf. We'll just, we'll just feed. <laughs> yeah, we'll when just the re- feed constantly. Oh God. It's gonna be great. Wood tier. Yep, I, exactly. I don't even know what these words Wood are. Five. So I would be terrible. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Okay, I'm gonna go back because I'm laning with Heather, oh, so I don't yeah. believe her. I, I'm, uh, I'm your gonna end the podcast now as well. <laughs> yeah, we yeah. should probably end it. I'm Nami. Oh five. my God, I fucking hate this game. Don't die, Heather. No! She died and it's all your R. fault. R.I.P. No. Good. R.I.P. Oh. Uh, I'm obliterated. I shouldn't even be speaking me. right now. We literally got obliterated. I passed on. Okay. Bye, guys. No <laughs> way. This was fun. <laughs> she said obliterated. <laughs> it You're the one who came down here. Just pointing that out. Hello. Ah. Uh. <clears throat> and with that note, everybody, I think we'll be heading off. Yeah, sorry to uh, just randomly throw that into the Easter egg, guys. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, anyone got some famous last words? This is your time to shine. I'm about to stop the Penis. recording. Penis, but Thank vagina you. dick. Thank Stuart, Thank you got a famous last word? Thank you. Uh, bazinga. <laughs> <laughs>